Traditionally, churches have been academic. We went through this modern era where everything was about knowledge and science and understanding. And we bought into that in the church and made Sunday school about books and about information and about knowledge and programs that were able to impart that knowledge to the next generation or to the people who didn't know that. And we forgot that the Holy Spirit was somewhere in the midst of that. And the Holy Spirit is the catalyst that takes that information and begins to change in our lives. And spiritual formation really is that process by which the Holy Spirit moves into our lives and yes, uses the tools of education and uses all of those things, but we become truly more like Jesus. The aha moment in terms of spiritual formation and family ministries has been the understanding that it is no longer about the programs. It's no longer about those checklists of things that they need to learn. It, it's about this creating these environments where children and families can hear the Holy Spirit and be changed within themselves. The focus changes in the classroom because it's not about just the academics of, yes, I know who David was. I know who Samson was. I know those stories. Well, that doesn't necessarily change you. That doesn't make you a, a, a more Christ-like person. It's when we find out what God was doing in those stories, and then we're allowing the Holy Spirit to work in our own lives. There's lots of really, truly amazing things about the faith that we follow, uh, among them being the fact that God would come and die for us. But one of the astounding facts is that for some reason, this God who can do anything and accomplish anything and has all that power decides that he wants us to be his hands and feet. And now as we, we move into this concept of spiritual formation in family ministry, we're, we're, we're adding that missing ingredient again, not just saying this is what I want to accomplish, this is the information that I want to download into these children or these people by the end of the lesson, but saying this is my job to present this and then we're going to let the Holy Spirit take it and finish the job and take it to the places that he wants to take it.